I have 20 things for your kids to do this summer. Okay, so number one is going to be KiwiCo kits. I'm gonna show you a few of the kits today if you're not familiar with them, and it doesn't really matter how old your kids are because they have kits for every single age child. I'm gonna show a couple of them to you really quick. So this is for kids on the younger side, although my older boys are interested in hijacking one of these. And this is the Make It Yourself Crystal Ombre Soap Making Kit. And it says for ages seven plus, I have a light up wire art kit. So this uses electronics and art for ages nine plus. This is the Eureka Crate Make It Yourself Stereo Headphones for ages 14 plus. So I got this for my 12 year old and you learn about sound and engineering with this one. Make It Yourself Roller Coaster Physics Ferris Wheel. This is for ages seven plus, learn about engineering. And this one is Do It Yourself Fire Lab for ages 14 plus, learn about chemistry and combustion. And this actually contains seven experiments. Another fun kit that you can get, I got this as a subscription. So my five-year-old gets one of these a month. So this is the little Passport World Edition and they send you a different country each month. So this one is France. There's a little letter to the explorer. Oh, cute, it looks like a little envelope showing them on the map where the country is, deserves to try, and then it has some words in French. It's a little letter to the child from the explorer. It has a little passports book, the coin. Each country has a different coin. And on the first kit that they get, little passport subscription, they get a cute little suitcase to keep everything in, and then a little place to put all of the different country coins in it. The craft is a paint kit. So it's a little tiny easel and paint palette. How cute is that? And they get stickers with each country and a little book that has facts about it and just little things to do. So there's a maze and a recipe if you wanna make something together at home. We'll keep them busy for quite a while. And some of this is independent. I mean, it looks like they could do the paints independently. They can put the stickers on something independently, but obviously if they're not reading yet, you're gonna to have to read the book to them. But it's, it's really fun and it only comes once a month. So it's really fun when it comes and it's fresh. It's a new country. Number three, a lot of the local movie theaters will do like a dollar movie or $2 movie for movies that are not brand new. Your kids may have already seen them, but it's kind of fun if you just wanna get out of the house pay for the dollar, two dollars a movie and get some popcorn. Number four, bowling. My local bowling alley does free bowling for kids during the summer. So check your local bowling alley to see if that might be the case for you as well. Number five, concerts in the park. Check your local city's website or parks and rec website and they may have other fun events to do in the summer that are free or affordable. Number six, Michael's has a craft creatology classes. Some of these are free, like they did a 4th of July craft that was completely free. And some of the other classes, the class itself is free. You just have to buy like a $10 or $15 kit. And some of those kits will go across like two or three kits. Number four, Home Depot is back to doing their first Saturday of the month projects. So you just go online, sign your kid up to reserve their spot, and then you show up on the day of and they hand you a completely free hands-on kit for the kids to do there in the store. Number eight, VBS or Vacation Bible School. So you've probably maybe gone to one when you were a kid. Churches are still doing those now that COVID is over. Check your local churches to see if they are doing a camp. And just keep in mind, oftentimes these cut off about sixth grade or 12 years old, but if you have older kids that would like to get involved, they can usually come and help with the camp. FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, sometimes does sports camps for kids in the summer, and these are great because it pairs outside time, getting fresh air, sports, with learning about the Bible, and sometimes they even feed your kids and give them swag back. So I highly recommend these camps and they are very affordable. Number 10, if your kids are into sports, check your local high schools and your local colleges to see if they might be doing some sports camps locally. Number 11, swim lessons. So this might be super obvious, 
but it's a great time to learn this important life skill. Number 12, so along the lines of swimming, your local pool or aquatic center might have some deals during the summer, so you can just pay every time you go. Number 13, explore nature. Depending on where you live, there might be a hike or a waterfall you wanted to visit or a park, something that you've always wanted to do but the timing didn't seem right. Try to prioritize this. Put this on your list and try to knock out something every couple of weeks that is new to you or maybe on your bucket list. Number 14, implement tea time. We like to do tea time. Time. So I will serve tea or some other fun beverage and some sort of treat and I'll sit at the table with my kids and then we will read something that is not our usual reading like poetry or Shakespeare or Dickens or just some other story that just feels really special that we can read together. And also, if you think your kids may not be 100% interested in the reading material, adding the treats is a good way to get them to come and listen to the book. 15, kids can learn how to draw with this awesome YouTube channel called Art for Kids Hub. I highly recommend it if you haven't checked it out yet. It's very, very cool. And even kids who have no art experience, they break it down step by step so that anybody can do it. 16, encourage your kids to start writing a pen pal. So this could be a friend that's maybe moved away, or a cousin that lives in another state, or even just a friend that lives across town, but it's so fun to send and receive mail. And they are also practicing writing skills. It's a little sneaky way and also they're learning how to properly address an envelope. 17, this won't really make the fun list for kids, but it's a great time to declutter the house. And I highly encourage you to have your kids help you with this, especially in their areas, like their room, their playroom, if you have a school room or a study room, if they need a little extra incentive, then you could say, okay, well, we're gonna have a garage sale and I will let you keep the money from anything that you sell, or you can keep the money from whatever we get to resell. So it can really help the kids. 18, along the lines of chores, I encourage you to list all of the chores that you would pay your kids to do for you. So these are extra chores above and beyond what you usually require and write out the job that you want about how much time you think it will take and then how much money they can make from doing that chore. So you could do a flat amount for one specific job or you can say, I will pay you by the hour. 19 audiobooks. So I've talked about Scribd before. I love Scribd. They did not sponsor this video. I just love them. My husband loves them and my kids use them as well. I love reading aloud time together, but sometimes it, we just don't get to it. Let's be honest, by turning on Scribd, it has a great selection of audiobooks that we can just turn on. The kids can color at the table and it's a good just before bedtime activity so they can calm down without screens. The other good thing about listening to audiobooks is that kids can listen to books above their current reading level, which exposes them to new vocabulary words. Okay, number 20, reading. And there's so many summer reading programs that can incentivize kids to read. Check your local library. A lot of libraries let your kid have a free book if they read so many books. Barnes & Noble has a summer reading program and if they read eight books, then they get a free book. Sync has a great summer reading program for teens. They give them two free audiobooks each week. They offer a current young adult book as well as a classic title each week. And these are downloaded for free through the Sora slash Overdrive app. And if you need some tips on how to find appropriate reading level for your child, I recommend Read Aloud Revival and I will put the links down below for this as well as The Good and the Beautiful has a great book list. Sometimes I just Google Charlotte Mason, whatever it is. So Charlotte Mason books for 12 year old boys or Charlotte Mason books for springtime or Charlotte Mason books for Christmas and I will get some really great lists that way. And you can also Google twaddle free, whatever it is. Cause if you're not familiar with it, twaddle is what Charlotte Mason would call books that don't really add value to the child's life in any way. It doesn't really have a lesson. It's just kind of fluffy dessert type reading. And last but not least, I highly recommend a routine. So if you have a day where you're at home, the way that we do it in our house is 
They need to get dressed, brush their teeth, make their beds, put anything away that needs to be put away, have breakfast. They need to do 30 minutes of reading. They need to play outside. And then if they have still more time before lunch, then they can get out these Kiwi kits, get out some board games, play with Legos, any of those things because no screens until after lunchtime. So I highly recommend having some sort of routine even in the summer. Okay, hopefully you got some ideas of what to do with your kids this summer. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.